Hello my dear friends, here we are today and we will make the assembly of the crosshead. I just start to record an, another video for you because I like to show you how uh, good this simulator is and you will see I make one only practice with the crosshead disassembly and I will go direct to the assembly to show you how much uh, one lesson can learn you a lot of things. For sure there will be differences from the real overhauling, there will be some uh, difficulties which we'll need to overcome. But quickly, quickly I will start the assembly procedure. Also the spare parts that I remove, we have placed them in proper position and stepwise and now what I will do I will set back this slink inside the engine so our slink is in the position what is our next step is to attach this lifting tool here for our crosshead pin so now also I will use a, a lifting hook to set it back where it was. <laughs> and as you can see, we have transformed uh, our engine to a Lego uh, land. So we will pick up also our connecting route on the top by using this uh, slink, which will be attached here and we will reach. Probably some of these operations will be done by chain blocks and now as we have set it uh, and proper align we can drop our end uh, our cross heat pen can be rests there. So I will check for the other parts by lowering down them in the position so now the crosshead pin will be moved inwards and also we can dismantle now because it laid down on the uh, crosshead pin so we remove the lifting tool and now we can set the other piece uh, back again in the position So after securing, I go to secure them now. Here we are. Okay. My spanners are here. So we can pick up the eye bolts. Next step we can put our guide bars in the position and then also we will uh, secure them with the spanner. And now uh, we can remove all these links from uh, the engine. It's not necessary anymore. And as you can see, the main purpose of overhauling that we are making today, uh, with one only practice, how much uh, important is these simulators, really, my dear friends? And you can see uh, how they can uh, extend your knowledge and your interaction with uh, the real world in the 3D programs and the, I wish that there will be some programs with VR and soon they will be for sure this is uh, the next step for all that things we can set also uh, our studs in the position 
And this is how our world will be much, much better and we will interact with the world in real time, anywhere we are. And that is really, really nice thing to see. So we can go here. Okay, after we have inspected everything and we will place everything uh, in position. Okay, we will set the eyeballs again. Let's go inside. Now we can set our uh, piston cooling oil return eyeball in the position. And tie it with the screws. Here we have our allen bolt will be removed and our telescopic pipe will be bring uh, back in the position. So here we are by placing our hexagon bolts and tightening in the position. What remains here is the limit plates to be set it uh, back. This is not a everyday job that you will be making on the vessel, but real, my, really my dear friends, it's good to have a idea how the things uh, it's be done and what parts uh, it will be consist. Now you know what parts of a crosshead has, how is the procedure of removing of the crosshead and really, really I love this simulator. This is one of the beauty, beauty simulator that I have seen in this uh, on if its kind. Maybe it will be better. And as you can see from zero, I go direct to 95% score for the assembling, which the disassembling is the reverse procedure of the assembling. So just with one, one uh, lesson, we have such a good. Uh, results. Don't forget my dear friends to subscribe to the channel and also to have your thumbs on the top and also share this video so it will reach more and more uh, new marine engineers and they will get involved and they will find the appropriate information they needed. Thank you again and see you in here on the channel. I will be waiting for you. Uh, don't forget to join today. Don't forget also to check on the main page the sites that have uh, been here on the channel. Don't forget to interact with them. And don't forget also to check the community tab, which is made for you to share the knowledge and share everything what I have seen on board the vessels and how we can improve and we make better as much as possible, not only in the marine industry, but in all industries at all. Thank you again and see you in the next video. Bye bye.